Okay, Steve, eighth medal, the most medal match in uh, national cross history. You've got to be a pretty proud man today. No, I'm really pleased, really pleased. I mean, uh, I came in today to win it, and I had the eight medals at the back of my mind, but I knew I'd, I knew I was in shape to win it, and that's what I wanted to do. And uh, you know, if, if I die trying and finish fourth, hey ho! But yeah, it's good. It's How did the race win. plan out? I mean, there was a big group for it for quite a while. Yeah. Richard seemed to put in a bit of an effort, and then you were the only guy capable of going with him. Um, it was sort of, there was a big pack, massive pack, because it was very, very dry, of course, no chance to get away, there was three little muddy patches, but the rest was just dry and fast, so, um, big pack, and it was actually, like, people like Nick Swinburne, for okay. the first sort of lap and a half at the front, yeah, and myself, yeah. pushing it along, and then um, Goodman came to the front, going into the last lap, and it was just me and him together, and, uh, in the last sort of 2k I just hit the front and just yeah. kept pushing, 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 holding something back knowing that I might need to have a sprint finish. Yeah, yeah. And then I broke away from him with about a k to go in the mud and just hammered up the last hill and uh, enjoyed it coming down the home straight. What, yeah. what were your emotions towards the end of that race? You know, you're lapping people, you know, it's getting noisier and noisier and it's getting closer. Um, I woke up this morning with about 26 Twitter messages, <laughs> pressure on me to win this eighth medal. So I was a pretty nervous man beforehand, but I've, since the last couple of years I've been really, yeah, uh, focusing on coaching and my priorities have changed with my career and everything else and I think it puts things into perspective because I think about you know what I'd be telling Elle and Andy and Johnny and Ross and, and that puts things into perspective so you know I'm a lot more mature athlete and when I'm panicking I just seem to you know worry and I think to myself what are you worrying about you know <laughs> what, what would you tell your athlete so yeah I've become a, a more mature about my racing and, and my psychology about racing is a lot better than it has been before so yeah I'm just old that's what it is how, how's this winter gone we haven't Seen, we haven't seen a great deal of you um, across this winter. I fell off a mountain bike really badly in September with, and had stitches in my knee and my shin. So I didn't run for four weeks and that just put the European cross out. Okay. Started a new job, you know, my lifestyle changed, couldn't train as, as well. So I got to get a new routine. Just did a little race for Christmas to see where I was and I got picked for Edinburgh and Edinburgh was solid. Yeah, like people yeah. were saying, now oh, you're disappointed, but. You know, I was, I think I was third, third or fourth Britain and yeah. it was so close, so I knew it was on the right track. I knew in another eight weeks I'd be ready to roll, so yeah. Congratulations, mate. Brilliant, thank you.